Hello. Welcome back to the next numerical on Rayleigh's method. Now this is a slightly different from the problems that we have solved before, in the sense that uh, we have been solving problems on bars with point loads, but now we have an uniformly distributed load to find out. Now the question states a bar of length L capital L and cross sectional area capital A and elastic modulus E is subjected to a uniformly distributed load Q equals Cx. This is the uniformly distributed load Q equals Cx where C is constant as shown in the figure. Now determine the displacement of the bar at the end using Rayleigh Ritz method. So using Rayleigh Ritz method we need to find out the displacements at the end of the bar. So in order to calculate this or to find the solution we proceed with the same steps. The first step being to obtain the potential energy functional. So potential energy functional potential energy functional is given by pi equals strain energy plus work potential. For bars, you know that strain energy is equal to a by 2 limits 0 to L dou u by dou x whole square into dx. Work potential is equal to now this is a uniformly distributed load. So the uniformly distributed load multiplied by the displacement. Since it is uniformly distributed over the length L, let's apply the limits 0 to L. Q is the load, U is the displacement over the length, so dx. Now what is Q? Minus 0 to L, C of x into U dx. Therefore, potential energy pi is given by E by 2 0 to L dou u by dou x whole square into dx minus 0 to L C of x u into dx. So let's call this as equation 1. Now, once we have the potential energy functional, now we need to approximate a displacement or we need to assume an approximate displacement function. So let the approximate displacement function approximate displacement function let it be a polynomial function which is u equals a naught plus a1 x let me call this as equation 2 so applying the boundary conditions to this applying the boundary conditions we can assume the second degree as well but uh, the calculation will be a little lengthier and also the result will be more accurate but, but to simplify the problem or the, the solution that we are trying to obtain I am assuming the first degree polynomial 
So the boundary condition is at x equals 0, that is at this location, fixed end, u is 0, therefore a naught will also be equal to 0. Equation 2 becomes, substituting the a naught value into equation 2, we, we get equation 2 becomes u equals a1x which is equation 3. Now, if you observe equation 1, we need dou u by dou x, we need u, u we have obtained, we need to obtain dou u by dou x. So, differentiating u with respect to x partially, dou u by dou x is equal to a1, I will call this as equation 4. Now, substituting, substituting equation 3 and 4, equation 3 and 4 in equation 1, in equation 1, pi is equal to a by 2, 0 to L, dou u by dou x is a1, so a1 square dx minus integral 0 to L c into x u is a1x into dx. Now what is pi? It is again equal to a by 2 a1 square integrated x from 0 to L limits minus a1 c x square it becomes integral of x square is x cube by 3 limits from 0 to L of pi is equal to a1 square limit x L and this will be 0 so it will be a by 2 a1 square L minus a1 C L cube by 3 and the other one will be 0. So this is the final expression for the potential energy. The next step is to minimize this potential energy. Minimizing the potential energy functional the potential energy functional dou pi by the variable is a1 dou a1 is 0 so this is the condition so dou pi by dou a1 will be equal to dou pi by dou a1 a e l and you had a1 square so a1 square different is differentiation is 2 a1 and we had a e l by 2 so both get cancelled so a e l a1 minus there was only a1 in the second term so c l cube by 3. Now, this is equal to 0. Now, sending the second term to the right hand side, we will get C L cube by 3. L, one of the L gets cancelled. So, A1 will be C L square by 3 A E. Now, substituting this into equation 3, 3 equation 3 is u equals a1x. So, substituting, substituting a1 in equation 3 
we get displacement u equals cl square by 3 ae into x a1x is the expression so this is the final solution for the given problem the problem asks us to determine the displacement of the bar at the end and this is the solution we we'll look into the second problem which is very similar to the problem that we had solved before again this doesn't have a point load it has the body force acting on it so use the rayleigh ritz method to find the displacement at the midpoint of the rod shown midpoint the overall length is two units at one unit length we need to find out the displacement for the given problem the body force has been given f is equal to 1 a value and e value both are to be considered as one unit okay so again the solution will follow the same steps discussed solution potential energy functional potential energy functional pi is equals to strain energy plus work potential so for bars strain energy is given by a e by 2 integral 0 to L dou u by dou x whole square dx and work potential WP is given by since it is a body force the integral will be an volume integral the body force is denoted by F it causes a displacement U and the integral is for volume so dv if you want to con convert it into the length integral then from 0 to l f into u small change in volume is nothing but the cross sectional area is constant hence a into small change in length which is denoted by dx okay now therefore the potential energy functional will become pi equals a e by 2 length integral 0 to l dou u by dou x whole square into dx minus length integral 0 to l f into u a into dx so this is the potential energy functional when the strain energy and work potential are being substituted for now let the second step is to assume an approximate displacement function so this let it be let the approximate displacement function let the approximate displacement function b again since there is no mention of assumption assuming a second degree polynomial we will keep it as u equals a naught plus a one x to make our solution simple we will call this as equation 2 and this as equation 1 now apply the boundary conditions to this applying the boundary conditions applying the boundary conditions at x equals 0 u is equal to 0 therefore if you substitute both into equation 2 a naught will be equal to 
zero. At x equal zero is this end. Okay. It is fixed on the top, hence displacement is zero. So equation two becomes equation two becomes u equals a one into x. I'll call this as equation three. Now differentiating this with respect to x because u we found out dou u by dou x is what we need. So dou u by dou x is equal to a one. This is equation four. Now substitute equation three and equation four values in equation one. Substituting equation three and four values in equation one. We get pi is equal to a e by two integral zero to l do u by do x is a one square d x minus zero to l f into what is u a one x a into d x. Now, once you are substituted, the further step is to minimize the potential energy functional. Minimize the potential energy functional. When you minimize this, there is only one variable which is do pi by do a one is equal to. Zero. So when I differentiate this, do pi by do a one becomes a e by two a e by two. When I integrate and open the brackets to this, it will be a one square into l. So integral of that will be, or uh, let us further take this to the next step. I'll put this as just pi, or I'll put do pi by do a one. So a e by two. Integral is a one a one into two into l applying the limits minus f into a one into a integral of x is x square by two applying the limits it becomes l square by two into this. To do a one is equal to zero. So do pi by do a one is equal to two two gets cancelled. So a one is a left a e l is what will be left with do pi by do a one. Sorry, this is a one square as it is. So it becomes a e l a one minus f a. L square by two is equal to zero. So substituting it further, we get 
ए एल ए वन इज इक्वल टू एफ इन टू ए एल स्क्वायर बाई टू सो वॉट इज ए वन दट वी गेट एफ एल बाई ए गेट्स कैंसल सो इट इज टू ई एल स्क्वायर एंड एल विल गेट कैंसल देर फोर डिस्प्लेसमेंट u is given from equation 3 so equation 3 is u equals a1x so substituting the value of a1 it is fl by 2e into x So displacement at midpoint is what we need to find. Displacement at midpoint that is at x equals l by two. Substitute x value l by two. U equals f into l by two e into l by 2 and given f equals 1 units e equals 1 unit and l equals 2 units so u therefore will be equal to f is 1 l is 2 units divided by 2 into e is 1 unit l is 2 unit divided by 2 so u is equal to 1 units so this is the final solution okay. thank you for watching uh, we'll continue with few more problems on the rods or bars wherein the next problem will feature bars with varying cross section thank you